Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Don't you just love it when you get a whole crop of mods that seem to appear at the same time and they're all wonderful and oh I'm in that space right now. This one is the Astronomer's Attic. It's an interactive player home by Queen Academy and if you don't know who she is she did the um, placeable paintings mod and the Falkree treehouse which are both gorgeous. I've done videos on both so check them out. Today, though, we are round the back of Arcadia's Cauldron in Whiterun. My Whiterun is modded to filth. I don't even know how many mods I've got here. Loads. JKs, EEKs, interiors, the horse statue one, the ruined gardens, blue roofs, a city full of life. So many, it's ridiculous. Probably my most modded place in game. Anywho, let's have a look at this place. So, through the little gate, I did have to disable one pine tree because it was right here blocking my path. How cute, look at this. So lovely. Keep on going round. Inner goes indoors already. And you'll find the back door here. This mod is based and inspired by um, Oroy's Astronomer's Loft. So it's the same design, uh, but quite different inside. Quite different and quite wonderful to be honest. As you come in you've got a little bar area here, there's name storage everywhere and here are some of said placeable pa paintings. <laughs> oh put my teeth back in, aren't they lovely? So nice. And there's name storage, baking supplies, dairy, cheese, fruit and veg, everything. Plus, there's a little oven down here, which is a very thoughtful touch, I thought. If you click on this prepare food, the pot moves, and check it out. How nice is that? And then you can just use the cooking pot in the normal way. I have to say, honestly, the deco in here is amazing. Truly stunning. And so much of it. Honestly, I don't know where to look. Oh, so many shiny things. How beautiful. All right, let's have a look upstairs. I can get past my... Oh, hey, in a goat's you. <laughs> there we go. Decided to do a spot of cooking. That's nice. I love that he just... When I tell him to make himself at home, he really just does. Wow, look at those sweet rolls or whatever they are. They look amazing. Well, I could just go for one of those in real life right now. And so, upstairs, there's a whole bunch of um, planters for you. There's half a dozen in here. Wow, my gleam blossoms look enormous. I probably should have gone with a smaller plant. My mother wart's a bit too big too. Oh, but wow. So, yeah, I mean, for such a small place, I mean, it is just a tiny room. There is so much stuff in here, it's unreal. See what I mean about your eye just being caught constantly? Look at this clock. Love it. Love it so much. The table. Clicky table, guys. You can make it do whatever you want from these things. I haven't seen planning yet. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. And snacking. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that is so nice. Oh, I've even got a pipe. Look at that. And reading. Wonderful. Oh, look at me being all artistic. I love that. It really feels like the place has got a lot of interest to it. Do you know what I mean? It's not just come in, sleep, cook, and that's it, you know? This place feels lived in. So, there's a whole bunch of storage down here in this bottom shelf. And then up here, we've got a gorgeous looking alchemy lab. Smoking away. Staff enchanter. Wow. And then the arcane enchanter. And look at these pictures though. Stunning, aren't they? If you didn't see that video, I think it was one of my life enhancing mod videos. Um, the positioner that I used to put those paintings up was Dillbills. 
And it's about the only one I've ever managed to get on with, to be honest. <laughs> and look at this desk area. Can we just take a second just to look at the actual desk? Because how lovely is that? That beautiful piece of stone. And there is so much to look at. Look how neatly the scrolls have been put in those little holes, pigeon holes, by the window. Gorgeous. There are so many shiny things, honestly. I just don't know what to do first. I sit in this chair. Bit of a squeeze because I'm under the eaves. Um, but the last time I did that, I actually got a book out and started to read. Oh, look, I'm doing it now. Here we go. Oh, I'm writing. So oh, cool. And then there's a bench here, too. Oh, no, I'm just sitting on that. Oh, no, out comes the book. How lovely. So this is your bed, the day bed. And it's really nice. There's also, for your follower, deploy guest bed. And he gets his own uh, very good looking, actually, bedroll with some cushions. Love that. So nice. There's clothing storage. There's storage everywhere. And some little planters by the window. Look at these beautiful, they're like Christmas decorations, aren't they? I would have those in real life, for sure. And a little game of chess. Just wow to the whole presentation of this place. There's also, um, in the mod description, it says that there's uh, activators to tidy up some of the clutter. Um, I haven't actually been able to find those, so I imagine that they need to be implemented or I've got a conflict of some sort that's stopping that from happening. Um, but one is on the Gleam Blossom Jar. I'm assuming it's that one and not that one. And then the Blue Globe was one. I think there was another one over here. The uh, writing supplies. Okay, well, that's it. Tiny but fabulous, don't you think? Wow, what a wonderful job. I love it. I didn't even know what my favourite part of this is. It's all so colourful and just lovely. Very fetching. All right, well, I'll leave you with that picture, I think, and call that the end of this wee video. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I didn't say actually, but this is free at the present time. There's there's just turn up, move in, um, which is perfect because, you know, you're out of Helgen, you come to Whiterun, can't get Breeze home yet, but hey, look at this place. Absolutely perfect. So I'll call that the end of this video and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.